You are listening to Comedy Club for Kids presents. Radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense. Oh, hello. Um, hang on. I'm I'm just finishing uh, my soup. I didn't expect you yet. Sorry. Um, I thought you I thought you'd be here in a few minutes. Hang on. There you go. Right, yodelay hee-hoo to you, and welcome to yet one more of them Radio Nonsense Shows, the official comedy club for kids podcast suitable for all ages from... <coughs> and two. Sorry, um, I thought that I would be finished uh, by the time that I started this week's podcast, but it turns out it's quite hard to drink 17 gallons of soup in just five minutes, especially when that soup is as hot as lava, which is probably because I put lava in it. But mm-mm, I love that smoky flavour. You just can't do without it, can you? Lovely lava soup. Do you like soup? I love all types of soup, like um, tomato, love that, vegetable, love it, shoe, mmm, primordial, yeah, ice cube, ghost horse, and of course, everyone's favourite, moon soup, because I love the way that moon soup only makes you feel full once a month. Uh, It's also the right time of year for soup, unless, of course, you're on the other side of the world listening to this where it is getting warmer, Um, although then you can have cold soup, can't you? Or maybe you're listening to this in a different time entirely, Um, so it might not be soup time for you. I suppose that'd be quite confusing if you're listening to this at some other time uh, in the universe. Maybe you're hearing this in the Middle Ages, uh, and then, of course, every day is the right time for soup because I I don't know what else you ate then. If you're hearing this in the year 2276, then um, it's only going to be if you're hearing this on the International Glorious Soup Day uh, that it's okay for soup because otherwise it's illegal, isn't it? And if you're listening to this somewhere outside of the known space and time realms where clocks only go sideways, then you probably are some sort of mystical soup yourself, and I just hope this episode doesn't upset you. Um, But if you're someone like me who just likes soup, then hey, how good is soup? I love a soup because it's like a meal, but you can drink it, right? That's brilliant, isn't it? Save you having to bother chewing or really thinking about it when you can just sort of chug it down and yum, yum, dinner's done. You know, you you can use a straw if you like. You can can have it in a cup or in a bowl. Oh, it's so easy. Sometimes I just think that all meals should be soup. It'd be so easy, wouldn't it? Breakfast could be cereal and toast soup. Lunch could be a sandwich and crisp soup. And dinner, uh, pizza soup, pasta soup, anything you like, really. If you were stuck for time, you could blend all three meals together and have them at once as one giant soup that you just keep next to you in a bowl with a little straw. And then you'd only have to sort of uh, make something else for dinner the next day when you can do it all over again. I just think things are a lot easier when you blend them all together, aren't they? Like soup. I mean, imagine, imagine you don't have time to tidy your room, but you're being told you have to tidy your room. You could just blend your room, blend it all together, and then there'd be no more messy room, just room soup. You don't have time to do all of your homework, blend it all together. Then not only do you have homework soup, but also it's quite hard to write on soup. So you could just hand it to your teacher in a flask or a teapot or an old boot. And they'll just be super pleased, get it, that you brought them soup. Sorry, I'm just very excited. I've had all of my soup, which was, uh, if you're asking, and you're probably not, it was made with one potato, a uh, lava, obviously, a vegetable stock cube, you always have to have that, a chipmunk's cough, and the wizened words of Big Steve, who likes to come round and uh, whisper clever things to my soup to make it even tastier. I didn't actually hear what he said today, but it sounded like something about how you should look before you leap. Very smart, very smart advice for a soup. Um, And anyway, now I can spend the rest of my day wondering what to have in my next bowl of soup. Maybe uh, some sort of cheese, maybe some carpet samples, or even all the number one songs of 1954. Choices, choices. Uh, do write in and let me know what your favourite soups are. I am always very keen to hear new recipes. Recipes? Recipes. I don't, I, I don't know how you say it. Uh, thanks for all the other stuff you've been sending in and all the reviews you've been giving this show on Apple Podcasts and all the other places where you can review it. Um, I mean, really, if you think about it, you can actually review this show any way you like, from your school book, your nan's favourite chair or the zoo. But no one else is going to see it there. So it's always best to do it online where podcasts like this one live. Uh, don't forget, if you have any soup recipes, questions you need answers for, jokes you've made up and you want to tell me or anything at all, do get your drowsy grump containers, sorry, grown ups, to help you email us those things at podcast at comedy club for kids.co.uk. Right, while I think of further soup possibilities, why don't you get yourself all comfortable and soupy and have a listen to this week's answering of your many exciting queries. Hey! 
Super tasty soup. Super tasty soup. Super. Joining me today on the show is Matt Green, a.k.a. Matt Green and his musical spleen. Baron Matt of the Falling Goatlands, five-time world saying the word wrestling champion. And, of course, as all our listeners will know you, Matt, pioneer creator of the Sandwich Sandwich Sandwich. Um, how you doing, Matt? I'm very good. I'm working on my sandwich, 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 sandwich. But at the what? moment, I've got prob- Yeah, I just I can't get the bread. I can't get enough bread. So it's it's going to still be the sandwich, sandwich, sandwich for now. But sure. watch out after Christmas, there's going to be a, a quadruple. I mean, I, I mean that I can't I'm trying to imagine it. And it's actually very hard to imagine a sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. So it, it, that's so big. And yeah. I, how do you can you eat? Well, it, part of it. Have to yeah. Look at it? Well, you have to mostly imagine it, really. It's mostly an imaginary thing because um, the first layer is bread. The second layer is uh, sadness. The third layer is obviously um, hope. And the fourth layer, which I'm working on at the moment, is saving the planet from climate change. So it's sort of, if wow. I don't know if I'm going to get there. Yeah, it's COP26. Is That's what it's mostly about, really, is, is getting the sandwich sorted. So, that's you know, amazing. we're getting there. I mean, that's quite a change because this in the sandwich, 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 there was at least one layer that was cheese, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well. I mean, I say, uh, yeah, I, I say sadness. I mean cheese, bad cheese, because oh, that's how I, I think of. That's how I think of. I mean, I don't mean like off cheese. That would be disgusting. I mean like just rubbish cheese, sure. like the kind of cheese you get. You know, in like you know those kind of um, packets of cheese you get where you get one slice at a time, and yes. it's, it's it's sort of half cheese, half sort of some rubbery. Yes. thing i don't really understand it yes. yeah I think that, it's like that... plastic isn't it yeah i've, I've always thought, yeah because you have to take a plastic wrapper off it but then it's also still plastic under the plastic wrapper so i yeah. mean which again that then counteracts your saving the planet from climate change layer if you have yeah. that but that's got to be very tricky yeah. to have both those in some ways like thing. yeah yeah it's it's the sandwich paradox that we've all been working on for years so uh, i don't know if i'm going to make it but you know i'm, I'm putting putting the effort in I'm I'm just impressed, and you know I I'm so pleased you could come on the show this week when you're so busy doing that as I mean that's going to take up most of your time. And and also, do you want me to say it? Do you want me to say the the, the W word? Because I, mean, I, if, I if am the can, world champion. I'd be, I'd be honoured if you can. But I mean, I don't normally say it. Except normally people have to pay me for this. But um, all right, I'll do it. Just give give me a countdown. Give me a, like a like a five, four, three, two, one, or something. Okay, five, four, mm. three, yeah. two, yeah. one. Mm-hmm wrestling oh that is wow i mean wow i am honored that you would do that for for radio nonsense i am no problem that is i mean that is really something that is really something and and you know listeners will know you you know because because you have uh won the world champion of saying uh the word wrestling five times now i mean you've really honed that haven't you you've really got that yeah yeah I try it. I try it different every time, though. That's the thing. I don't, you know, that's that's this year's version. Mm. I like to I like to mix it up because obviously people are always going to come at you. They're like, I saw what you did last year. You know, I've listened. I've worked it out. I've got the cadence. This year, I'm going to do it the same, and then I'll just I'll bang something out because you remember the third year, I completely changed up. I was like, wrestling, and no one was expecting that. No, no, one was expecting no. It. I mean, I remember. I think everyone listening will remember that because that was yeah. that was big. That was on that was news headline big. Yeah. Most people go up, I went down. You know, yeah. most people kind of go for the big, I went little. And, you know, sometimes that's the way to go. It really is. It really is. I mean, I, I'm also just impressed that second place never gets even close to you. You know, I mean, I yeah. think last year, didn't they just go wrestling? And it wasn't, that wasn't very good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, second place, I mean, pity, if anything. Yeah. It's second place is nowhere. That's the thing. In all these things, second place is absolutely nowhere. So, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, if someone wants to challenge me, then you know come and get me but so far i'm undefeated so you know yeah what can yeah. i say as 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 you should be i mean you know you deservedly so you're the champion i think and and you know i don't want to obviously i don't want any spoilers for the future because you've, you've already said the word that you don't normally say without as paying for it but are there any other word you know are you going to stick with with the wrestling word are you thinking about branching out into other words and other championships um yeah i mean there's there's obviously boxing is a possibility uh table tennis i love ta- table tennis is a good one because there's lots of b- 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 words that, you know mm. you table tennis d- d- it's quite a it's quite a consonanty situation uh boxing you know it's a bit like wrestling Whoa. i feel like I'm, I'm sort of yeah i know i'm just playing with, i'm just playing with you um i'm just you know trying stuff out uh but you know table tennis or um possibly golf Oh, you know, gol- how, golf. How can you say golfing? And is it they good? I mean, obviously, again, I don't need to give it away. I'm worried listeners will listen and, and take it. But could you give us maybe a hint of how you might say golf in a better golf. way than golf? 
of you know you can that's the thing wow. you've only got, yeah you've only got one sound really in it so you've got to make that sound work for you oh uh, i mean matt i am i am blown away that was i've never heard gold like that in my in my life hey. and i hey. I don't know if I ever will ever again. So, well, I mean, you might if I do the championships, but uh, before that, you know, keep keep them. Wow. Well, I mean, I goodness, I was I was going to ask how you are, but I mean, obviously, you're incredibly busy with all all of these. I'm very busy. I'm just learning a lot of words, um, lots of pronunciations, uh, and it's amazing these days. You know, championships are coming. You know, every day there's a new championship for a word saying. So, uh, you know, what can I say? Busy, busy that and on the sandwiches. So. Um, you know, not much, not not much time for anything else, really. Yeah, yeah, which has got to be very hard because you know you you probably also need to do other things like sort of go to the loo and, and eat and and sleep probably. But I guess you're just sort of leaving all those bits out. Yeah, I I haven't I haven't been to the loo for about a year now. I think. Wow. Um. Yeah. I just I just I mean you know it's fine. Like it still happens. I just don't go when I'm sure. you know it just it sure. just happens. I just don't go to the you know and and in many ways that makes it more more messy and more mm. difficult and i have to it takes more time to clear up but i just don't have i just you know i'm just if i'm if i'm practicing something i want to practice it i don't want to be yep. worried about leaving where i am you know it's those sort of time management skills that that are important you know yeah you're a professional you know how to handle this you know that even if it is more messy to just go where you're sitting you know that 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 doesn't stop you while you're right in the mindset of learning and yeah. practicing right now and you can deal with it later when in your switch off time you know, yeah, and, and here's, here's, a, here's a pro tip. Here's a pro tip I'll give you for free. Um, just do everything sitting on the toilet. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. that's clever. Yeah, that is clever. You know, yeah. um, people people will say that's a bad idea, but, you know, that's I, I think lots of famous people from history did all, all of their work sitting on the toilet. Churchill, yeah. famously. Yeah, yeah. Sitting Margaret the Thatcher, the whole time. Yeah. always yeah. sitting in the toilet. Mm-hmm. Looked like she was wearing a skirt. In fact, it was just a toilet. Um, yes, you know. yes. I think Emperor Nero sat on the toilet, didn't he? Pretty much. He did. Toilet. He invented the toilet. Although in his case, it was a person, so different. You know, That's a sort of different true, yes. situation. You know. That is true. Yeah, yeah. Attila the Hun, I think, sat on the toilet mm-hmm. most mm-hmm. of their bar- barbarian kind of conquests. Yeah, it's. I yeah, mean, it's yeah, something yeah. we really should be doing more of now. I mean, it, it sort of upsets me that you know you go into office blocks and and people are like sitting on a, 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 a on a chair by a desk and you should be on a toilet and then you get. I mean, these days it's all about it's all about you know um, multi multi use stuff, isn't it? You've got to you've got to make sure that you've got. It's not just a you know a chair. What, what is a chair? You're just sitting on a chair. That's all it does. You just sit on it. Yeah. Toilet has got a double function. It's a chair and it's a toilet. So yeah. you know, yeah. And if kids at school, you know, that no more asking, Miss, can I go for a wee? Because you just you're yeah, they're there. just on the toilet. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why not? Yeah. Really I mean, because when 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 I was growing up, um, desks at school you used to be able to flip up desks i don't i don't think that's a thing anymore really i think those desks don't really exist anymore where you used to be able to like store things in the desk and you used to, yes, you used to sort of flip yes. it up um that's that's a thing that you know you used to have in, in schools i remember those um but what they should have done of, of just is use the flip up desk but but as for the chair so you just flip it up as a toilet and then flip it back down if you don't want it anymore that's you know? really clever that is really clever i should say i remember those desks and i mainly remember that regularly people would get their like arms stuck in them you know that's yeah. a bit like a mouth and suddenly you'd notice like somebody in the class had disappeared oh desk seat and yeah. then again it's so it, it did have those dangers and i'm quite glad we've moved yeah. away from that yeah yeah but they could also be useful as a shield uh if someone yes. if you know a teacher was throwing a um a piece of chalk at you or something you could flip up the desk and sort of bat it back um, I realise chalk's probably not a thing either. I feel very old suddenly talking, talking yeah, to you about this. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, teachers don't really throw stuff anymore. Back in those days, they used to throw chalk, bomby knockers, uh, sort of um, various sort of watermelons and things. But now spiders, it's all gone. Spiders, spiders yeah, yeah, big spiders. I had to... a teacher who used to really love throwing spiders at us. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that, I mean, I'm glad that doesn't happen anymore. I think it was no. right for that to change. No one in Yeah, I mean, in a way, in, in a way. Yeah. Is 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 it? I mean, it's good. It's good. Obviously, it's good that children don't have stuff thrown at them anymore by teachers. But in some ways, I think I it improved my reflexes. Mm. Yes. I'm better at catching. Than you're I better at been. dodging spiders now, aren't you? Like if if a spider yeah. is coming right at you, you, you're out of the way pretty quick. And, yeah, yeah, which is uh, you know, amazing. Out yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. I have to say, we had, we had a teacher who smoke, throw small lizards at us. And I'm pretty good if a lizard comes mm. hurtling at me. I'm I'm out of the way. I mean, it doesn't happen very often, obviously, but it, on the rare occasion. So yeah good. but but that's yeah. the thing you know it only has to happen once for it to have been worth doing that's true. i mean have you ever have you ever had to find out the hypotenuse of a triangle 
Um, do you know what? I don't think I, I've had to. I had to find a hippopotamus in a triangle once. Is that the same? No, that's very different. And that, okay. and obviously, that was something that was also useful that you yeah. had hippopotamuses in your school. You know, yes, because um, yes. because yes. a lot of schools don't have that. Yes, you know, yes. we only had elephants. So you know, if you had hippos, yeah. that that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, we only we didn't have ele- we only had hippos. So yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, you know, it's all different funding, different areas, and, and people listening yeah, to yeah, schools yeah. around the world. You'll have a different animal depending on what your your curriculum is, and yeah, 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 yeah. it all, all changes. Um, well, Matt, can I just say again, thank you for being on here. As I know you're busy, and, and you know, it's been a little while since we had you on Radio Nonsense. I'm very glad you could come back. Um, no, it's and, nice and, to be here. Yeah, it's great that you could be here. And, and you're more than aware that this is an audio podcast. It's for people to listen to with their ears or wherever they choose to listen to it from, mm-hmm. bums, elbows, whatever they like. Um, you know, we don't yep. mind uh, as long as they listen. Um, and so in which case, I just wondered if you had a favourite noise that you could give us uh, f- for the listeners' ears slash bums, elbows, knees. Yeah, well, as you know, I'm already I'm quite into noises um, professionally. So, um, I mean, I, my, what my favourite noise is depends uh, on what, how I'm feeling. Uh, I think today I'm feeling pretty good. So my favourite noise might be a kind of something like that, oh, like uh, nice. feeling yeah. pretty like, you know, there's a is a bit upbeat. It's a bit mm. um, it's a bit excited. It's mm. like a it's a cockerel who's been surprised. Oh, I like you know, it. it's yeah. You know, yes, oh, oh, I don't, oh, oh, I, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, it's like you've got up before the cockerel, and he's surprised. You, you know, he was meant to wake you up, and you've woken him up. You know, that's what's, hap- yeah. what's, what's yeah. happened there. So, uh, yeah, I think that's that's what I go with today. That is fantastic, and that is, I mean, it really does throw them if you do that. It's a perfect way to surprise a cockerel. If if you know that every morning the cockerel crows at say seven, get up at three minutes to seven totally totally throws them off it's very funny they love i mean i mean yeah exactly and then they'll get up a bit earlier and then you've got to get up a bit earlier it becomes a bit of an arms race you've Mm. got to be careful you're not getting up at midnight and both of you are quite tired and then the cock it's not so much it's more kind of you know and you've got once you get to you should probably leave it well you say that but if you keep if you keep going and you get to like three in the afternoon then you you can sleep in for more in the morning like then you can stop that's true and then you never have to get up early again there's a sort of time travel aspect to it, isn't there? Eventually, you might end up going back in time if you're not careful. Wow. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that is a good thing. That is, I think you've just discovered time travel. I mean... Maybe. Wow, I don't know why anyone didn't think of that before. Yeah, well, well, there you go. Well, there's something to really contemplate there. And, and of course, the other question I have to ask you, um, that was a fantastic noise. Um, you know, this is a, a family-friendly show. It is suitable for people of all possible ages that you can think of. Go on, think of an age. Uh... 12 yeah suitable for that one you want to think of another one uh 120 also no yeah also that one yeah no i had to think about that okay sometimes not but no yeah also that one. so because it's suitable okay. for all the ages um i just want to yeah. make sure if there, there is a rude word that you definitely won't be saying okay um void oh i won't i i, I just uh, yeah i just it's it's yeah. horrible no that is and of course, never, I never should, say void. If you, had you said void on this show, this show would then become void, which would then yeah. mean people couldn't hear it. So it's it's got that. And you have to uh, you have to avoid it. So yes, you know, yes, which is hard if it's not being thrown at you by a teacher. So how do you avoid a void? That's the thing. Because if you've avoided the void, you've you've avoided it. So then you are a void. Like, do you know what I mean? It's one of those words. That it's just it, it, yeah, it becomes a it becomes a bit of a nightmare. It's really tricky. I suppose a void is it. There's like nothing in it. So can you avoid it by putting like always having stuff there? Something in it. Yeah. 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 That's true. Actually. Yeah. 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 But it's still, it's a horrible. It's a horrible word though. Thank you for not yeah. saying void. it. Though. I think it would. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But then when you say it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Void. void. Wow. Void. 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 That's void. yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've definitely. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's I forgot that you have that. But I mean, it is a rude word, and I don't want you to say "void" on the show. I'm not going to say it. But when you I will say avoid it, it you in see, that's a way the problem. That you can say yeah. it, it does make it. It does make it better. Were there a championships again? I feel like that would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really special. It's a real. That's a real talent you've got there. It's unbelievable. Mm. No problem. I mean, you know, I'm available for parties. <laughs> Uh, well, thanks, Matt. Thank you for for that. And and of course, the reason I've got you here, the reason that that you've been, uh, you know, 
able to give us your time this way. I'm so pleased. Is, uh, there's a question, a question that's been sent okay. in from one of our listeners. Um, and I know that I know that you know how to answer this. You're the one you're the one that can do this. Uh, that's why I've asked you on the show. Um, and this okay. has been sent in from Millie, age 100. Uh, and as I, I point out regularly wow. on the show, she doesn't say years. She just says age 100. So I assume that's 100 years. It could be 100 sausages. Um, minutes. She could be could very... Be could be a very, very precocious baby. Yes. Yes. I mean, it just isn't helpful when they don't put the sort of units of yeah. what age they are with it. You know, 100 seconds could be re- like she could be really newborn or she still could be in the delivery decades. room. Yeah. She could be ancient. Uh, yeah. 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 So just don't know. Just don't, just and also, don't. is, yeah, 100. Why, why is Millie listening to this podcast if she's 100? You know, like. Does she, is there not a, hunt, a podcast for hundred year olds? Well, I the... yeah, I mean there are. There's a special podcast by the Queen, I think, for one hundred because she. Yeah, that you, you only you get know, access to. She sends to. a letter to, yeah. to everyone when they're hundred, and and I don't know what letter. I I hope that when I get to hundred, I get letter P, and I can say the Queen sent me a P, which is funny. But... I thought it was a telegram. I think it's a telegram oh, it? that right. she sends. Yeah, and okay. these days Telegram is an app that you can message people on. So I think maybe she these days she just sort of sends them an emoji. Oh, I see. You know, okay. Just like a yeah. like a thumbs up, just like a lols. Oh, right. You know, yeah, you know. maybe she probably just does shout outs on her podcast for for the hundred. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I mean, but the thing is, earlier when I asked you to guess an age, you said one hundred and twenty, and we are suitable for one hundred and twenty years. So I sort of feel like a hundred years. I mean, we're suitable. Get in on that, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting that Millie's stuck with us for this for that long. It's just impressive, really. It's very impressive. I, I think, I, I hope that speaks for the quality of the show or maybe that Millie's just done everything else and she's really bored now. now that she's yeah, and maybe she's 100 so she doesn't know how to change podcasts. That she's just got possible, one yeah. podcast on her. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's quite sad. Quite a sad realisation. Well, Millie, I, I hope, you, I hope sandwich. you know. I hope you you are just a hundred minutes and 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 far more excited about listening to this. Um, Millie has asked this question, and, and this question has, I'd say, approximately twenty question marks and twenty exclamation marks after it. So I'll try and I'm not wow, as good okay. with with words as you are, but I'll try and do that in the way I ask this question. Mm-hmm. So Millie has asked, "What if you sneezed out poop?" Wow. Yeah. Now, okay. So the, so now. The thing about that question is it it can be interpreted in different ways, I think, depending on how you stress it. Like, um, what if you sneezed out poop? As oh. in, you know, what about you specifically? Uh, what if you sneezed out poop? Like, generally, like what if everyone did? Uh, and also, you could also read it in a kind of more threatening kind of, what if you sneezed out poop? Kind of, oh, you know, oh, like I'm yeah. threatening you with that possibility. Yes. Like I could be the guy who made you sneeze out poop. So I feel oh. like, you know, we can answer that in three different ways. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, which, which way should we start with? What's the most sensible well, I think, way, do you think? I think, I, think, I think probably one and two you can group together, which okay. is what would that situation be like? I mean, I think, I suppose if, if it were a new thing, hmm. like if it was a thing that we just started doing today, you know, God forbid, then um, I'll be honest, I think... I would be less keen on going out. Yes, yes, I think so. I mean, I think it can be quite embarrassing to sneeze in public. Like, I don't know if you've ever done one of those sneezes where everything comes out of your nose all at once and it goes everywhere. And yeah. if you don't have a tissue ready, it just looks like you've sort of been ectoplasm by a ghost. But yeah. imagine if you did that, but with poo, I think yeah. that would be even less well received, say, on a train, in a shop, if you just sneezed and it was sort of diarrhea everywhere thing is yeah thing is though these days a lot of us are wearing masks on trains mm. and buses and things at the moment like i ha- i was wearing a mask on the train the other day and i had to sneeze and the instinct is to take the mask off because but then of course you shouldn't that's the whole point is that you have it on so you, it stops you sneezing so it stops other people getting so i just sneezed quite loudly into my mask and that was not a pleasant experience <laughs> that was quite a i really i really felt like i was giving myself a little facial sort of snot massage so yeah, that is um, disgusting yeah and then you can't really wipe it either because it's under the mask and you've got to wait until you get off and then you so again with poo if that was a poop situation i think i think i might have taken the mask I'll, I'll be honest i think i would have taken the mask off i think that would have been the, the the lesser of two evils so is it is it is it less bad to sneeze poo all over someone and all over their belongings than to sneeze poo on yourself <laughs> i mean it depends how well you know them doesn't it Sure, that's true. Some people, like sort of family, they might not be so upset. Yeah, 
yeah. If you're a baby, then you've you've got poo on everything already. So yes. sneezing yes. it as well. I mean, you know, yeah. As a baby, people people assume that you've got poo everywhere, even if you're, you know, they don't know whether you're sneezing it or what, what's happening with it. It's just everywhere. Uh, I think once you get beyond the age of about five or six, then yeah, it, it, it's going to start getting pretty unpleasant for other yeah, people around it's, you. It's quite disgusting. I mean, it's such a. It's, I, I worry that because, like, if you've got a block nose full of snot, if you've got a block nose full of bogies, boogers, mm. for, for, for the listeners in the place where they say that, they, you know, you just can't really smell anything. It's just a bit horrible. But if you've got a block mm. nose full of poo, all you smell is, is poo or poop. You know, yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be but then horrible. You see- yeah, that's the thing. I think this is where the question is in- interesting because if you, it, like, if this was a thing that had only just started happening, then that's definitely, that would be worse than, uh, it would be horrific. But if it was something that w- was had just always been the case, then we'd yeah. think that that was just how noses smelled. Maybe that's, you know. That's true. And you'd end up with, you'd end up with, with um, uh, poo sort of, uh, um you know, perfumes and things that would smell yeah. like that because that's what people people like. So, yeah, it, it really depends. And if you're using it as a threat for somebody, then, uh, yeah, that's pretty. it's a pretty scary threat, I'd say, if you can make it happen. I mean, it slightly worries me that Millie is 100 and that's what she's thinking because it makes me feel like she's been planning this for some time. Yeah, yeah, well, maybe she's been sneezing a poop this whole time and, and has only just thought to ask if, if anyone else does it. Yeah, and I'll be totally honest, I think she should go to a doctor. I think probably should go to a doctor. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the question also bears: does that mean she does that mean she gets like poos out snot? Right. Mm. If she sneezes out poop, does, do, do you know are, is other people doing that? If it is, is Millie or whoever else, are they also then sneezing out snot? And should that then mean that we should be wearing masks on our bum? And then, well, I mean, I wear pants. I don't know about you. I wear face. pants. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. what is a mask on a bum but a pant? What is a what is a pant but a mask <laughs> for your bum? And her face pants, yeah. What is a? I mean, you know, think about it. That's why yeah. we do wear them. So. But it'd be tricky with like tr- trousers would be hard, wouldn't they? Because trousers are sort of designed to fit over 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 your butt, but they're not really designed to fit over your head and go in, go with your arms. Like you'd have to have an extra bit added to jumpers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, maybe that's what polar necks are sort of grasping towards mm, hoodies as well if you pull the hood over and then you sort of pull the strings really tight yeah that's almost like a, a head trouser isn't it mm. i mean I'm, i feel like this image is getting more and more disgusting so it is uh, it's you know. really it's really disgusting and, and I, I mean i can't say void and yet this is what's we're, what we're talking about i don't know what's going on yeah that is true and i'm, I'm pretty, thank you for again not saying void um yeah it is yeah, I mean, but 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 the thing is, is is Millie sort of posing this question, and I, I, it, it is important that we discuss these issues. Were it to, like you said, suddenly happen, like you know, tomorrow, tomorrow, if suddenly sneezed and and the poop came out, then at least we would be prepared because we've kind of talked this yeah. through, and the listeners are sort of aware of. What, well, all what I can say is that I I hope yeah. All I can say is that I really hope the government has got someone um, listening to this, which I'm assuming they do to this podcast uh, every every time it goes out. Uh, and um, that they are planning for this eventuality because yeah, I don't want a situation where this happens and the government's like, oh, we haven't really thought about this. What do we do? You know, I let's, mean, let's do an investigation. Because, you know, there, were, there were issues with with, with toilet rolls uh, going out of stock, uh, yeah, you know, during the last year, and and this would again be an issue like that because I mean, toilet roll, thankfully, very flexible, uh, works for 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 n- noses and and bums. You know, it's sort of mm-hmm. everything really. Um, so at least. At least you wouldn't have to change that. That could stay the same. But I do worry they would go out of stock pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. And I think uh, it's very. It's going to be harder to make people wear masks if there's a there's a potential poo sneeze in there. Yes, but more important. But more important than any than ever. Yeah, but it would it probably cause you to keep your distance from other people a bit better. Social distancing would be a lot easier. Yeah, That's absolutely true. You wouldn't yeah. go near anyone if they had the potential to sneeze poo on you. No, no. I think that's fair. Yeah, well, that's disgusting, and and I, I suppose then the last that you know you did say that the 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 third way of interpreting this is what if someone sort of threatened you, you with what if you sneezed poop? You yeah, well, then I think you then you've, you've you've well, I think I think it sounds like a school, you know, it sounds like a sort of like a, a yeah, like a sort of playground threat. So the question is, what do you, what do you come back with? Mm. You know, what's like well, so what if you sneeze poo out of your your nose? Then you've got to be like, well, what if you? Um, I don't know. What if you cried tears of we 
Do you know what I mean? Wow. Like kind of, yeah. you know, like get, yeah, get, yeah. you know, yeah. get it, get, go over the top and make it even worse. What if your hair was made of spaghetti, you know, like make wow. it more, you know. Yeah. I mean, that you've created a monster in my mind. Of sort yeah. Of the spaghetti hair, wheat ears and poo sneezing. And, and, and that's the sort of thing I think you could tell small children existed. So they mustn't be naughty or they'll be caught by the spaghetti wee crying poo sneezer, which is. Yeah, uh, they call him the void. So. The void. Whoa. Yeah. Wow, yes. Wow. I mean, yeah. Wow. Wow. I didn't see that coming. I suppose you, you, wait, no, you probably you wouldn't because you can't see it because it isn't yeah. anything. Yeah. Because it isn't anything until it sneezes poo in your, in your face and you're, mm. oh, it's, it's there. This is really horrible. It's a really horrible question. I have to say that Millie sent this in. Yeah. It's, it's, just, it's, you know, it's taken us in a pretty d- disgusting direction, it has to be said. Yeah. I probably should have put a warning at the beginning of this. Sh- episode to say that if you are offended by the idea of someone going at you and then a whole load of poop coming out just like in a torrent of of poo from your face and i'll be honest if you're not offended by that then there's something wrong with you yeah you should be offended by that that. yeah yeah Yeah. exactly but this doesn't happen on the queen's podcast but she doesn't no no No. that's probably why millie chose this one to be fair it's probably why she didn't ask that one (laughs) maybe she did send it to the same but she's just not had an answer from the queen so she's like right okay very possible send it to the people who will do an answer Yes, yes, and we and we did. So thank, thank you, Matt. I think that is probably the most sort of uh, succinct and comprehensive answer we could give for such a question. No That's why I asked No you problem. Here. So thank you for your time. And uh, busy. I mean, well, I know you've got a busy rest of the day ahead. It's the sandwich, 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 and, and yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And I might have a sandwich for lunch, um, but that's purely pleasure. That's there's sure. no business involved in that. What would that you would put just in, be a norm. Out of interest. Uh, I, I mean, probably ha- a happy cheese. Oh, nice. Rather than the sad cheese, happy cheese, nice. you know, um, yeah. yeah, you know, so you that's about it. I'm photograph, yeah, 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 exactly. Happy cheese, like just some smiles. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Well, enjoy, enjoy your your sandwich, sandwich. Thank you, and uh, good luck with all the words, and and thanks Thank again you. for your wisdom on 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 poop sleeping. The poop sleeping. No problem. Poop sleeping. Poop sleeping. I mean, that's a different thing. Poop sleeping is a very different thing. A whole different which again, uh, episode. If anyone writes doctors. in about yeah. that, I will. I will be Please sure get... to contact you and ask you to to come back and, and, and tell Please you. Please do. I'll definitely block you after this. Um, Thanks. This feels Thanks. like, yeah. Get up and Gary and Jimmy Tada. Thanks tons to Matt Green for coming on this podcast again. It was nice to have him back and answering Millie's truly, truly disgusting query. Uh, I hope, Millie, that now you will no longer wonder about what would happen if you sneezed poop because, I mean, it's just just disgusting. Stop thinking that. It's horrible. Put nicer thoughts in your head like stuff about soup. Oh, hang on. What about if you sneeze soup? Now, that's something I might be interested in. Mm-mm, soup. Mm-mm, mm-mm, soup. Uh, sorry, what I mean is, uh, if you have stuff you want to ask, things you need to tell us here at Comedy Club for Kids HQ, or just your favourite soup recipe or place that you want found some soup, or any soup pets that you own, then please get your drowsy grump containers, sorry, uh, grown-ups, to help you email us at podcast at comedyclubforkids.co.uk. Uh, don't forget, too, to see if we're doing any live shows anywhere near you, and you can check that at comedyclubforkids.co.uk, as we have got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of shows coming up. We're performing all over the country um in the uk if you're not in the uk we're not performing near you but maybe you could just have some soup instead and and think about funny things it, it'd almost be the same um i'm now going to start prepping my next soup uh, which i've decided i'm going to make by blending all of the things on my desk at cc 4k hq all together uh, with some vegetable stock obviously always need vegetable stock so uh here we go <laughs> You have been listening to Comedy Club for Kids Presents. Radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense, radio nonsense. nonsense. It's the end.